Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the eTrailer J-Style Kayak Carrier. We're going to take a look at how it fits our 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. If you want an affordable and lightweight kayak carrier, the eTrailer Aluminum J-Style Kayak Carrier might be a great option for you. It's a great way to get into the kayak game where you don't take up too much space. It is made of aluminum so it is designed to hold up to the elements, you can even leave it on your roof in the folded position. There are some downsides too, like you lose out on some features because of its affordability. And we're gonna talk about that, focusing on the Chevrolet Equinox. One of the main reasons people get J-Style Cares is because of the space it saves. So I already have it set to the overhang of our roof rack. And look at how much space we have on the rest of our roof rack for all the other things. If you wanna carry a roof basket, or a roof box, or even more kayaks, you can do so. This does have a weight capacity of 150 pounds for your kayak, but if you are using it to carry around more kayaks, be mindful of your roof weight capacity and your roof rack capacity. All those added up might exceed, so just double check those numbers. Everything is included with this kayak carrier kit, so not only do you get the front and the back carriers, we also get your strap kit, which I'm a big fan of. I even use the strap kit with other kayak carrier brands. Now I'm gonna take this off. Don't worry, I'll show you how to strap on your kayak. But we'll take it off to take a look at the kayak carrier itself. This is what the carrier looks like with the kayak off. So you have your top mast with the foam pads. That way you help protect your kayak's hull from scuffs and scratches. You also have this cushion down here. This is rubber and flexible. Again, protecting from scuffs and scratches, just like the foam pads at the end of the carrier. You have two handles and you can push them towards the outside, towards the inside, whichever makes more sense for you. I like to push them out when I want to adjust this because then if I fold it down, it's more accessible. So you can adjust the angle of your J-style carrier. Maybe you have a larger kayak, need more space. Maybe you want it more upright. And then you pull the handle to secure it in that position. Just be careful because it can pinch the palm of your hand if you have that in the way. So you can see it's very easy to move it around according to whether you want to just drive around, if you want to have it in J-style position, or with the kayak on. Something to note with this is because it is aluminum, it is designed to stand up to the elements, it's corrosion resistant. And that way, even if you have your salt water, your lake water, your rain water, you're still good. For your Equinox, make sure you do have a roof rack. I currently have a Thule roof rack with the 53 inch long bars. That's why we can have it mounted to our overhang. Shorter bars means that this will be on the inside of your vehicle and not as easy to reach. In general though, the Equinox is slightly taller as an SUV. So with your heavier kayaks, you may need a second person to support as you put it up onto the rack. But all in all, leaving it on is fine. Using it is very easy to do. It is not lockable though. So if you want something that has locking features, check out the Yakima JLo as an alternative. This will fit around most of your crossbars. Double check the product description to make sure it fits yours. It does have that clamp style system with the wing nuts. So you do need a little bit of clearance. Let's take a look at the installation of the carrier as well as how to load it up. When you install this, this is usually how you're storing your kayak carrier in your garage. You can hang this on a hook or up on a shelf. It's very lightweight. My special technique for this is I take off one of the wing nuts and that way the clamp is free to twist. You have different options for mounting your kayak here. I like to put it on the overhang because then it's easier to reach. If you don't have enough overhang for stability, you can put it behind the tower. So see how this twists around and then you just need to get the bolt through. We'll bring this back out to the overhang. You may need to loosen the other side to get some clearance on the other, but then once you have your clamp wrapped around your crossbar, you just turn those wing nuts to secure it. Try to do it evenly so that your carrier is level. 
You can keep this carrier folded if you're just driving around and you're not planning on carrying a kayak just yet. When you're ready to load your kayaks, you flip the levers down, one and two, lift it up into position, and then twist the levers again to secure it. Do that for the other side as well. So I have my friend Rick here to demonstrate how to get the kayak up and into the J-style carrier. It is a little tricky because you have to get over the J hook, but once you have it settled in the cradle, you just leave it there and then get your straps on. For strapping down your kayak, you do have an included strap kit. So that's two cam buckle straps for the middle of the kayak and then your bow and stern straps. Honestly, this would be a little bit easier if you set up your straps before the kayak's in place, but this is also the way you could do it with the kayak already on. You want it into the rack, over the kayak, and then up front. Here up front, I like to bring the strap through the carrier around the crossbar or the tower so you have an extra point of stabilization and then back up through the carrier. And so that you don't have any buckles touching your kayak's hull, we're gonna bring this up into the opening before we attach the end of the strap. This feeds through, and then you just need to pull down in order to tighten it. So pull until you get good tension on the kayak. Bow and stern straps, you get a part of the strap that goes into the bow and the stern of your kayak. Then we're then going to connect this to the hood or, and or hatch of the vehicle. My favorite part about the e-trailer strap kit is it has a dog bone anchor, which you just toss into your hood. Most of the other brands have hooks you need to find a spot for. So once it's in there, you pull it, it's secure, and then attach it to the tie down on your kayak. Do this for both sides. And that's how you install your carrier and load up your kayak. Make sure all those four straps are secure. You may get a little bit of wobble on the carrier, but everything is tied down. You're ready to hit the road. So some personal thoughts about this kayak here is I actually recommend it a lot when people are just getting into carrying around their kayaks because it's affordable, it's easy to understand, easy to use, and I really like that strap kit. Those dog bones for the front and the end make it so much easier to get those bow and stern straps, which are very important when you carry around your kayaks. You saw that right here. This was a look at the e-trailer J-style kayak here, here on our 2020 Chevrolet Equinox.